English. All right, so welcome to Night Hacking Interviews at the DevOx Conference. We're going to be doing live interviews all today and tomorrow here in Antwerp, Belgium. And I'm joined with Jose Palmard. Yeah. Hi, and Stephen. we're going to chat a little bit about Lambdas and what you've been doing here okay. at the conference. Yeah. Um, your new training course. And maybe a little about the jug and, and your favorite vacation spots. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let us do that. Yeah. Okay. So let's start first. You you were giving a couple of talks here at the DevOps conference. Yeah. So what have you been, what have you been talking about? I've been talking about the, those new features uh, in Java 8, mainly uh, lambdas, the stream APIs, and uh, the collectors. I mean, I, I already did, made a talk uh, last year about on that, on that subject, in fact, uh, which was quite successful. And I wanted this year to go. Uh, deeper into the the stream API, especially. So I, I made a university, especially on that subject, cool. with many patterns, many new patterns, how to build streams on optionals and things like that. Really corner cases, but really interesting pattern that will uh, enable us to to write both uh, new ways of uh, new new patterns uh, that that will go into our applications and also that will go in, in new ways of writing APIs. So you have any background in functional programming? Um, well, not really. I come from uh, what, we, what we call electrical engineering, so I began yeah. my career uh, on electronics by writing assembly codes, very low-level C code, and also parallel code on so-called SIMD machine. Maybe some of you remember the Cray company. It was quite a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I no, they built really expensive <laughs> computers which none of us can afford. Yeah, so uh, it was this, on this kind of machine that I was working at that time. And then I, I came to the to uh, object-oriented languages when uh, Java was released. In fact, nearly 20 years ago, because at some point when you build applications, more and more complex application, you need cool. some kind of object-oriented language for that. Yeah. And Java was uh, was my choice because it was simpler than C++. So I didn't have to go through too much C++, which was very good news at the time. Yeah, no, that's a good <laughs> thing. I, I caught the tail on the C++ craze in college, yeah. and that was not fun times. Well, yeah, so it's a bit, bit complicated. Very. Yeah, so you made your way to Java, and what, what do you like best about the Stream APIs? I think that the Stream API really allows us to, to write incredibly readable code. I really think about a way how to process my data. I just think about the different steps and I just write it down and it just works out of the box and it's really crazy to see the, the, the really amazing works that has been done to design this API because it is both very easy to, to read and fairly easy to write you need to be a, a little acquainted with it but still yeah. very quite, quite easy to write but once you see the patterns it's easy to, yeah. and very fluent to, absolutely to write it's very fluent to write good. and it's also extremely uh, efficient as far as performance is concerned because mm -hmm. the implementation behind that is really is really great really a great job there and you also have free parallelism as, as, a, as, a, as a as a bonus so it's really really great to have that cool I love the API yeah Okay, so let's chat a little bit about your, your course, which is ah, upcoming. Yes. So you've been doing a course uh, for parlays on Lambdas? Yes, in fact, I've got quite a lot of course online on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> because I also work as an assistant professor at the university in Paris. Nice. So I've been giving courses for almost 20 years now. And I've uh, built courses for, uh, for parlays, which is the last one I've published, uh, just yesterday, in fact. And, cool. and parlays, courses on parlays have been announced this morning at DevOx Keynote. I also have courses on Pluralsight, which is a, a site uh, hosted in, well, the company is US-based. And I also have courses uh, on uh, Microsoft Virtual Academy, <laughs> you won't believe that, but it's true, <laughs> about how to deploy Java EE uh, applications on the Azure infrastructure, the wow. Azure cloud stuff. <laughs> so that's quite a lot. Yes, it, I mean, I mean uh, it was a real pleasure to, to build that course. Uh, especially this one because, well, the first two are classical courses about yeah. lambdas and streams and stuff. But uh, interacting with Azure as a, as a Java developer and as a Linux, mostly Linux-based developer, was kind of um, new stuff. And, uh, and it, it, it really works great. It's really worth checking that, really. Okay. I think so, yeah. And there is disagreement between Oracle and Microsoft to deploy Oracle. Especially mm -hmm. Java 8. Oh, yeah, OK. I have my Java logo today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. So okay. um, we were talking in my talk yeah. about um, I was showing some footage of, of me physically going around yeah. different parts of the world. And I was 
It was actually um, near Santander, Spain, where yeah. I was traveling, but you thought it was, it was Route 1 in the U.S. <laughs> yes, I, th I thought, because it was a, a road, basically, uh, along, along the seashore yeah. with r very nice sightseeing and... Uh, and cliffs and you might die sea, if you fall yeah, off of. Absolutely. And I thought it might have been the, this wonderful road between Los Angeles and, uh, and San Francisco called uh, the road on... Road, what do you call Ru that? Route. Route, route 1. Route, route 1, California. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, so have you, have you driven around yeah, California? Yeah, I, I, I did it did twice, which is quite a oh, lot for a Frenchman. Wow, so more than me. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> I've, I've done it <laughs> once, but... <laughs> yes, and, uh, well, it's a place I kind of like in, uh, in the U.S. It's really, yeah. The climate, I think, is close to France a bit, right? Especially uh, North North California? Yes, yes, it's quite close to what we have in France between Mediterranean and, yeah. uh, and Paris. Paris is a bit colder than Mediterranean, of course. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yes, it looks like. But you know, comfortable. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and, good uh, place to live. All, all the birds you can see and all the animals in the sea are really typical of that place. Yeah, <laughs> no. One of the nice things is when I used to live on the East Coast, and when I moved mm. out to the, the Bay Area, you basically mm. you can see um, ocean. Yeah. Bay. Mm. Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> all from just you know one vantage yeah. yeah that's nice so it's, it's <laughs> nice you know, to live there I guess very expensive but <laughs> <laughs> well France is not particularly the ship eh? uh, if you yes, to Paris yes, no. yes particularly the ship neither yeah so hopefully I'll get back to France I'm trying to mm -hmm. arrange another motorcycle okay. tour so yeah. maybe there's Devox France in the uh, beginning of April it's yeah. a nice Nice I've occasion to come bit. back to Paris. I've heard you got a bigger venue this year. Yes, absolutely. The Vox France will be held in a bigger venue. Uh, in fact, we, we've been organizing that for three years uh, at the Marriott, and the venue was completely full, completely packed. Yeah, uh, we standing had, room only. I remember yeah. shuffling through the halls, absolutely. and it was extremely tight. We could, we could welcome basically 1,500 people there. Yeah. And now it will go in another venue called the Palais des Congrès, which is a, a very popular venue uh, in Paris. There are many artists uh, from all over the world that, that cool. go here. And it can uh, it can accept like 20,000 people. So it's really, nice. really a lot. I don't, I don't think we are going to pack that uh, the first year. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually in the future... Well, growing, uh, room. Know, yeah. growing room. Growing room. So, yes, so perhaps you won't be sold out mm -hmm. too early this year? It depends. Really, it depends on many things. Uh, I really wish all the best for for the for yeah. Devox France, and I, I'm pretty sure that the success will be there awesome. next next April. If you plan to go there, don't be late because well, entrances really uh, run very fast, are sold very fast. Cool. Uh, 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 Stefan said that uh, in the, uh, the keynote of the morning. In fact, uh, for for Devox Belgium, you have the blind bird which is when you buy your tickets uh, before the agenda is, is released, then the early birds, which, uh, and then the normal price. And in France, we only have the blind birds and then the sold out. <laughs> because so you go straight, last straight year, from yeah. early bird registration. La, to la, last year, all the entrances were sold before the agenda wow. of the conference was published. So that's, that's if you pretty want good. to go, <laughs> don't, don't wait for Register the agenda to be published because it will be too late. Nice. Most probably. Yeah. All right. Well, it was great interviewing you, Jose. Thank you, Stefan. And hopefully I'll see you in France soon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or Thank California. You. Or California. My pleasure. Thank yeah. you a lot.